Rihuri Markovich is in a critical state. However, there is hope that his heart will manage it. Risha. 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 Hold your mother. Risha. Defibrillator. Get out of the ward, everybody. Adrenaline, faster! Risha! 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 Hold on. It will be alright. It will be alright. Oh no. I don't know why, but recently, people started leaving small tips, even when we're doing everything for them. People will only give what they can. During hard times, we should be grateful for anything. Mm -hmm. Grateful? I'd rather not be grateful for these coins. <sighs> it's Anna. I'm listening. Mom, I'm just letting you know I'm at the hospital right now. It's... Ryuri Markovich, he died. What? Died? I was home when he felt unwell. I called the ambulance. But... It was too late. It's terrible, Katerina Ivanovna fainted when she found out that the doctors failed to resuscitate him. I'm barely standing myself, but right now I need to support Katerina Ivanovna and Valeria Natolivna. Anyway, I have to go. Mm-hmm. Riri Markovich died. God bless his soul. How did it happen? I don't know the details. My mom called me a second ago. Yana told her. He had a heart attack at home. Yana called the ambulance, but the doctors didn't have enough time to save him. He died at the hospital. Wait, did I get it right? He had a heart attack? When he was with Yana? One on one? I don't know exactly. Don't you want to ask your daughter in law about it? I'll find out the truth anyway. With your help or without it. Why are you asking? Is it important? No, not really. I understand that the Dobrovolskys family did a lot for you. And they're very important to you. There is nothing we can do. Hmm. We need to start packing and get ready for the move. Hmm? Live without you, Risha. I won't be able to. How is Mom? She is asleep. Dennis and I barely talked her into taking a pill. Oh, where are Dennis and Carolina? Dennis and Carolina are in the living room while Anna's locked up in her bedroom. 
How could I have gone to that orphanage, Sana? I already felt in my heart that I shouldn't have gone there. But why did I still go? Tell me, oh, Zana. Leta, it's not your fault at all. <laughs> I can't live without him. I don't want to live without him. <laughs> What do I do now? What about Carolina? There's Carolina and Dennis, Katrina Ivanivna, and me. I don't want to. Oh, Lara, Ryori uh, Markovich, Ryori Markovich will always be in our hearts. He will always be in our hearts, forever in our memories. I don't want that. I don't want it to be this way. I want him to be here with me, here. Please, I want him to be together with me, Zana. <laughs> yes, what do we have here? Uh, the number of the phones that I was calling. Well, Ryuri Markovich, see that? You kept threatening me. But who's the winner now? Me. It'll happen to everybody who will stand in my way. Carolina, brace yourself, be strong. Go to your room and try to sleep. It'll be harder tomorrow. We should gather all our strength, Carolina. We need to organize the funeral. We should calm Mom and Granny down and support them. How can I go to sleep? I don't know, but please try. Dad, Dad. <sighs> Mikita, good evening. Sorry for calling late. I need the documents and reports of the performance of the company tomorrow. Sure, Dennis. But I'm in Kiev at the moment. However, I'll give an order to bring you everything you need in the morning. And there's one more thing. Which one? Regarding the case I was separately investigating. Did Rihori Markovich tell you about it? The investigation of the video with my wife? Yes, I know. Okay. I'll tell you the results during the meeting. It's a deal, thank you. I hope you know why I called you to meet with me today. It wasn't that hard to guess. Then why couldn't I reach you for a couple of days, tell me? Where were you? We were lying low. Victor was killed, right? Mm -hmm. He was. Who says we won't be killed too? You're so cautious. Hmm. So, why was he killed? 
We have no clue. I see. Do you have any guesses? Maybe he owed money to somebody. Maybe he attacked somebody or somebody wanted to press on him? I think the competitors to whom he owed money attacked him. You said competitors? Do you know addresses and names? I'm asking if you do. We'd like to know, too. All I know is that, uh, Victor had a meeting with somebody who he owed money to. Yes. He was going to take the money and pay off the competitors. I see. What happened next? He just disappeared. The competitors looked for him. And then they found us, so we decided to lay low. Hmm. How come you don't know him if they were threatening you? They didn't come on their own. They sent their petty helpers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What amount are we talking about? He didn't tell me. He just told me that when he paid off his debts, he'd still have enough money for a vacation. That is all we know. Okay. We'll sort it out. Ryrin Markovich was a very sensitive person and seemed like a very great father. We're very sorry for your loss. I'm holding on. I didn't expect the pain to be strong. Time will soften the pain. You'll see. I had a feeling. When you said those words, I felt better instantly. Honey, it's time for us to go to the funeral dinner. Everybody's waiting. Yana, thanks for coming, but... Don't you think it's time for you to go and pack your bags? You and Andre are going to Poland, right? Yes. I'm so sorry, honey. Thank you for the sympathies. Are you still mad at me? Why should I be mad at you? Because I failed to save Ryuri Markovich. You saved him some time ago, thanks to you. He lived for another three years. <sighs> I... Keep remembering the situation over and over again. What did I do wrong back then? Calm down. You did your best. If you want to divorce me now, then fine. I won't protest. Anyway, I'll be getting half of your property. Rihori Markovich was an example for all of us here. He was a talented businessman. Honest, smart, and kind. I'll always be grateful to him for his endless trust in me and the work that I have given to him. His trust was inspiring. I became the man I am now, thanks to Rihori Markovich. Let's have a toast for the great man he was. God rest his soul. Where is Carolina? I don't know. Where is Carolina? I'll go to her.
Let's go. Everybody's waiting. I can't help myself. I used to consider myself strong. But now, I don't have the strength to even join them. I held on at the cemetery. I didn't think that I would feel this way, not me. But when the coffin was lowered, I realized it was the end. He won't come back. Never. Do you understand? I do. My own father died when I was 13. How did you manage? I couldn't count on anybody's help. My mother couldn't even stand up from bed for a week. I was alone. I have to take responsibility. I didn't have time for grieving. I had to live. You should too. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Will Danilo come to have lunch with us? No. He texted me, saying he would stay with his friend and go to the gym. Why would he go there? Why not? <laughs> Danilo is a handsome boy. If he develops more muscles, he'll look like a model. <laughs> the girls will queue up to him. I understand that. But my son has never been into sports before. Do you know why he started? What's so bad about it? Doing sports nowadays is a trend among the youth. It's fashionable and useful. I'll go to the hall. Maybe some of the clients need something. God rest Riori's soul. Be strong, Dennis. Thank you. Please accept my sympathies again. And if you need anything, Lara, do turn to me. We should go. Mm -hmm. I'll just talk to your sister, okay? Okay, I'll wait. We need to talk, one on one. Are you nuts? It's not the right time or place. I understand, but it's important. Let's go inside. Den, I don't think we'll meet before I leave. Please don't think badly of me. I don't think badly of you. Have a safe trip. Farewell. My sympathies again. Mikita, can you see me tonight? We need to discuss the reports on the company's performance. Of course I can, but I don't think you're in the right state to solve such issues now. Plus, there is no need for that. I have everything under control. Maybe you need some time? I don't need time, Mikita. These affairs are very important for my father. I'm ready to discuss them today. My father would expect that from me. Okay, see you tonight then. Is this really important? Can't you see that I'm in mourning? Oh, Lord. Don't overdo it. Please, Yana. Okay? 
Don't pretend that you're Ryori's daughter-in-law shaken by grief. Don't call me that. Or what? Yana? Huh. <laughs> I know what Ryori Markovich was talking about on the day of his death. I don't understand. You do understand. He came to me. It turns out he was carrying out his own investigation regarding that video. He found out that you were talking to me on that video. What are you hinting at? You saw him on the day of his death. It's so weird. He had a heart attack right when you were talking. There are too many coincidences. Don't you think so too? Are you hinting that I killed him? You said it yourself. How dare you? Who are you to say that? Oh. On this day too, you came to my house with your idiotic talks and ideas. They're not as idiotic as you think. You have no evidence. I don't want to ever see you again in my life. Get out of here. With pleasure. Your dad is worried sick about you. He was wondering... What was your reason to go to the gym today? What else could I have told him? I was with Lada when he texted back then. I said the first thing that came to my mind. That's what I thought, but Dan... The situation can't go on forever like this. Soon it'll be disclosed. Your dad will get offended by all your lies. Soriana, I understand all that. But I can't talk to him about Lada at the moment. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Are the Dobrovolskis holding on? Holding on. How will they? They're grieving. In such a state, both rich and poor behave in the same way. Jana turned out to be such a sensitive and kind person. She was crying like a baby. Uh, it's time for us to go. Uh-huh. I thought we would just drink some tea first. Mm. Mm. We already did. Mm -hmm. We need to go. Where are you going? Uh, to the movies. Uh-huh. What movie is it? Uh, I asked Dan to go to the cinema with me and forgot what movie it's going to be. I only know that it's about crazy love. If it's about crazy love, then the title isn't important. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going, Hannah. Have a good evening. See you. Goodbye. Bye. Why did it take some pills with him? To replace popcorn? Petro, can you come home today? No, no, we can't talk about it over the phone. It concerns our Danilo. Mm-hmm. I want you to arrange a meeting with the shareholders in Kiev as soon as possible. Okay. Will next week work for you? Will you have enough time to prepare? Yes. Is there anything else? Mm, yes. You wanted to tell me something regarding the video allegedly with my wife? I apologize. For interrupting your conversation. It's all right, we're finished. As for the last issue, I'll prepare the report in the nearest future. Okay. Thank you for your efficient work. Good night. I forgot to express my sympathies to you. I'm very sorry. Thank you. For all of us, the death of Ryori Markovich is a real sorrow. Good night. Good night. Honey, it's so late. You should rest now. It was a hard day. Maybe you should come back with me to our bedroom. Uh, no. As you wish.
Dennis, Dennis. Why do you not want me? Why? And that Andre too. I'm sick and tired of him. It's father-in-law's fault he died. He shouldn't have pressed me like that. The same goes for that smart-ass Victor. They all got what they deserved. I'm not going to let anybody stand in my way. Everybody who does is surely destined to die. And it's their own fault, not mine. Wow. Should we run? Why? It's better if we wait until the raid stops. How's Carolina doing? She's not doing well. Who does when their father dies? I remember my... parents' funerals. I'll tell you, this pain won't pass quickly. I'm so sorry. Life goes on. Carolina said she'd work soon. Maybe it can help. I know that from experience. Maybe you're right. I think when... When a person that's close to you dies, you feel as if you've lost a part of yourself. It's almost the same when you lose your love. Your heart and soul ache for a long time, you know? This analogy seems true. There's something that I want to give you, Andre. Wow. This is cool. An exquisite thing. It must have cost a lot of money. <laughs> like they say, money comes and goes, but memories, they stay. Andri, thanks for everything. Marina. <laughs> what is it, Marina? It's nothing. What's wrong? <laughs> Poland's not far. We'll still see each other. <laughs> mm. I'm all right. It's just that so many sad things have been going on with the people that I know recently. Carolina's dad dies. Halia's boyfriend was killed. Halia's? What boyfriend? Ah, uh, he came to our studio once, do you remember? Victor Boy. Don't sit on the floor, daughter. I'm trying to calm down, but... I found his jacket and it still... S smells of him. Don't, do you hear me? Don't, it's hard enough for me to hold on.
you lost your husband and I lost my son. Parents, parents shouldn't outlive their children. It's not right. When my husband died, my Marco, I felt as if my arm was cut off. And when I buried my son, I felt my heart leaving my chest. Boom. Go on, cry, cry. They say that sorrow leaves the soul with tears. I can't even cry. Why live now? Don't say that. It's a great sin. We have Carolina, Dennis. We should live for their sake. I have never felt such pain before. <laughs> they say with time. Pain will dull. Oh, Risha. We'll remember him, Valeria. <laughs> he will always live here. <laughs> Daughter, do you want to take these books with you? I don't think so. It's just baggage. I cooked up some food for you. Thank you, Mom. How will you communicate there? You don't know Polish. It's all right. I'll study. When will Andri come? In the morning, but first I'd like to go to the cemetery and bid farewell to my parents. Forgive me, daughter. What for? Everything. Mom. Mom. You did nothing wrong this time. On the contrary, you did everything you could and even more. I'll always be grateful to you for that. Today, at Riori's funeral, I felt very sorry for his family. But I felt the worst pain for, for both Dennis and you. Why is that? I saw how you were looking at him. You don't have to worry about it. Everything ended between Dennis and me on the day of the crash. It was fate that we weren't destined to be together. Yes. Yes, it's sad, but nothing can be done about it. You may not believe me, but I feel with my heart that you'll be very happy. I mean that, really happy. I didn't want to bother you again, but I have to say that your son's behavior lately has been quite worrying. What is wrong with him? Well, I saw him with suspicious medicines. Okay. Why do you think they are suspicious then? Well, because he hid them as soon as I saw them with him. I always do the same when I don't want somebody to see something. Dan recently became active in sports. He bought special pills for growing bigger muscles, you know? Dan? Sports? Do you realize what you've just said right now? It's not funny. He wrote to me today that he couldn't talk because he was in the gym. In the gym? Don't make me laugh. Maybe he's in the gym where they give out sports costumes because Dan's sports clothes are in the wardrobe there. I forgot the last time he put it on.
Now, are you telling me that my son is lying to me? It looks like that. Maybe he's with bad company then. Hmm. It may be anything, including the fact that it was Zoriana who brought him into that company. And what about Zoriana? Oh, she behaved weirdly today. Danilo and Zoriana went to the movies, but when I asked her what the movie was, she became nervous and said that she forgot. Yes. I'll try to talk to him openly about it, and we'll discuss it. I don't think it'll help. Are you sure that he'll tell the truth? Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any other suggestions? I can watch him. Watch him? My Danilo? I don't know. We can watch them together. And we can find out what, where, and when? You should take these vitamins together once a day. The main thing is to take them every day without failing. Promise me that you'll take them regularly. I promise. Promise. You know you treat me just like my own father. I'll come by tomorrow again and check your intake. Your visits help me much more than any medicine that I can take in the world. Your paintings are so beautiful. Thank you. I can give you one if you really want to. Anything. Really? You can choose. <laughs> May I take this one? Thank you. You have a good taste. That's true. Soriana, I think it's time for us to go. Okay, let's go. Thank you again. Thank you for the vitamins and for your care. Goodbye. I don't believe that the deaths of Ryori Markovich and Viktor Buhai were accidental. Yana's responsible, surely. Because those two knew something about Yana that she wanted to hide. Anna and I know about that too. It means she may try getting to us as well. No, I can't let that happen. I should somehow stop it. Yana went beyond the acceptable line. She went too far. I'm the one who will stop her. Hello? Look, we should postpone our trip for a couple of days. I have urgent business in Kiev. Can you explain what has happened? Well, nothing. I just need to dot all the I's. I see. Mm-hmm. Sweet dreams. Soon everything will be fine. I have no doubts. Yes, we will be all right. You held on so well today, honey. I beg you, leave me alone. Dennis, you held my sister by the hand and was looking in her eyes. Fine, I'll let it be. Those two will leave. Nobody will look for them in the near future. 
Then we'll find out that an accident happened to them on the way. That will be it. Did you buy everything? Let's go. Wait. <sighs> Our employer's calling. I'm listening. How are you doing? Nothing good. Victor was murdered recently. Unbelievable. How did it happen? The investigator said that he had been run over by a car. He died almost instantly. Are there any suspects? Could be the competitors, or someone unknown, or someone Victor was about to meet that day. I feel sorry for Victor. You should finish your task to the end. Yes, the same people. Andrei Popovich, Yana Matvienko. They will go to Krakow early in the morning tomorrow. You should make sure they won't reach Poland, but go straight to heaven. I see. We'll do it. Even if they will be in another place, the pay should be double then. It'll be triple, if you do everything the right way. It should look like an ordinary car crash. I don't have to teach you how to do it. Yes, yes, yes. The traces of tires. There was no blood in the car. It means that Victor was killed right here. Judging from what the bandits told me, the accident seems to have happened two weeks before we found the body. That's not a short period. But some traces of the crime must still be there. We shall look for them. It's not a bad thing. If I find the person who owes money to Victor, I'll be able to earn well myself. Your money will become my money. Your money will be my money. <laughs> <laughs>